Hi, I'm Christy. And I'm Kaylee. And today we're going to be testing out L'Oreal Total Coverage Foundation. Infallible Total Coverage Foundation. Because I already have makeup on because I was at college today. You were in sleep in my bed. Anyway, I'm going to take off my foundation and then we can get started. Um, so I'm going to do half my face with a beauty blender and half of it with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to see the comparison. Focus on my face, bitch. Uh, it reminds me of uh, the stuff I used ages ago. Remember the remote? Wait, wait for me so we can do first impressions together. My cellar water. Like a little poop. That's how thick it is. Oh my god, look, it looks like it's got eyes. Look. Oh yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah, it's cheek. I actually quite like it. I'll use that. Oh my god, I actually really, really uh, like it. Let's change the light and see if that helps you see. coverage but it's like a nice it's like not like packed but like cake yeah like it's not cake what do you think of uh, look how much I've covered my freckles and I use a little bit that's so good I don't think you can really see on the camera but I do have quite a lot of freckles nothing wrong with freckles I just prefer to color them Oh my god, I really like it. Before we started this, look. we actually said, I don't think they're going to like this. I think it covers this like dark circle very well, but like if you go under it again, like underneath my eyes, I went under it again just to like make it look more. And I've still got loads on my hand. I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush now. I think that I'm going to put some like of my contour stuff on just to see if it mixes well with it or if it like gets all patchy. Yeah. So basically it covers up spots really well and it covers up redness really well. It's, it matches to your skin. Um, as you can see it's a nice matte finish and it's, it's full coverage but it's not like cakey. Like, you don't need a lot. Yeah, you don't, you don't It's really quick, like see if you were running late to school or something. Even in the car you could just whap a little bit on. My technique with this is a spray and then I don't look until I've done it and I think oh my god I'm going to need to go out with a big dark line in my face, oh my god, oh my god, and then when you stop it looks fine. That's almost what I see in my head, I'm like oh my god I'm going to have a big line, I'm going to have a big line. Collection Last Imperfection. It's really matte, which I was worried about because of. But it's not that matte though, it's like not like. I know, but because I have dry skin, I thought that it would really screw up like my face. I think that it went on well with the beauty blender and with the, the brush, just as well as each other. It was a lot quicker with this because you could just paint it and I like it and I have dryish to combination skin and you have oily skin and you like it as well oily skin yes. so it's good for all over and it covered our spots and it covered my freckles overall really good foundation what do you give it a 10? <coughs> I give it uh, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 I'll give it an 8 and a half I still give it a 10 okay so that's our video for this week Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and if this is the first time you're seeing our faces, hit the subscribe button because <laughs> we post videos every Tuesday at 5pm. Also turn on our post notifications so you're notified every time you upload a new video. If you have any ideas for a video that you'd like us to do, put it in the comments down below. Until next Tuesday, see ya!
Get tired with it. <laughs>